all singles. Tom, I thought about you recently, watching the D-Day festivities. I, thought, I bet Tom is somewhere with a beeper there, clicker, trying to watch all the well, old great, war footage. Some great stuff there. Did you yeah. watch any of that? Uh, I watched as much as I could. Where was I on the 6th? I was somewhere, I was in the midst of something. I can't remember what it was. Well, you were there in my thoughts in abstentia then. I figured all the good black and white war footage what was right up your alley. Uh, yeah, what a bonanza. It's a bonanza. <laughs> well, did you go around the house playing uh, Forrest Gump with the wife? <laughs> <laughs> no, she wouldn't allow me to do that. I uh, no, I try to keep that out of the house as much as possible. So I think you would have done that to aggravate her just to. I of, did sometimes. Uh, the my my younger, who was only three, he 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 began to talk like Forrest a couple of times there, which was which was kind of funny. No, I I, uh, I tried to save that for the trailer <laughs> when I was when I was at work. I was lucky because for a big chunk of this time we were we were in South Carolina, but we had like an hour's drive to the location every day. So that was a real good time to get all that out of my system and start gearing up for the, for the day's work. Well, I love the lines in this thing. Stupid is as stupid does. Truer words have never been spoken. It probably was a fun, you probably needed this part after the one in Philadelphia, didn't you? To kind of, it was kind of a different kind of well, concentration, wasn't it? Well, yes and no. I, you know, it's, it's, uh, uh, Philadelphia was, a, was actually an incredibly vivacious set. I mean, everybody thinks, oh, it must have been depressing. No, it was great. Jonathan runs a great set. It's always a, couldn't wait to get to work every day on, on, on Philadelphia. And if, if they, I, only, I only left when they didn't need me anymore. This was the, the same sort of thing. It was incredibly grueling, actually, um, Forrest Gump, physically demanding. We, we had to work at, uh, at, at a breakneck pace, uh, but all I, I just remember laughing all the time. We had fireworks on Friday night because you can buy them on the freeways out mm -hmm. there in South Carolina. And uh, it, was always a, it was always a blast. Um, of course, I was also always exhausted, so maybe I was just punch drunk. Maybe I'll just punch you. I was trying to call some friends last night, tell them that I'd seen a great movie, you know, just going through the stuff I'm seeing so many this summer. And this really is almost a flawless film. I love this movie. I mean, I couldn't think of anything you could ever say nasty about it. But I had a hard time trying to tell them what I saw. <laughs> I said, this is one you just have to trust that if you like Tom Hanks and you like Bob Zemeckis, go see it, and then you worry about telling somebody Well, it's, it's hard to, you can't really quite encapsulate it. It doesn't really work to say, well, guy's on a park bench telling you about his life and it's the most fantastic life you've ever come across. It's, uh, what does that mean? It doesn't yeah. mean anything. But so it, just tell them it's an epic. It's an epic motion picture, cast of thousands, takes you all over the world, you won't believe what you see. Yeah, and yeah, you see, how's that? That's and that's, good. See, that was oh, good. Yeah, I'll write right that bad. down. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I know you're probably tired about hearing about Oscar night, but a lot of people were at home rooting for you that night, and we're very glad to see you do that. I mean, just, you know, it's kind of some people you just start to root for. Oh. We were all saying, go Tom, <laughs> go nice. Tom. A lot of office pools, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of people had money right now. Does that it, so that's feeling in your stomach still exist when they announced your name? Or did you hear it? Uh, no, I remember hearing it, but I don't remember much of anything after that. Uh, it, it's, a, it's an amazing moment. It's everything that you can imagine it is. I'm telling you right now, imagine yourself in the same circumstances, and that's exactly what the entire night is like. It's, I, was, got very, I almost I, I wanted to go purge or something as I realized that, oh, you know what? They've given away all the screenwriters' awards. Uh oh! I think this. I think it's coming up next. The and pressure sure must enough, be was. pretty strong. Oh, your head wants to pop off its shoulders after a while, but then and then the thing goes on. Because I mean, just two years before, I was on the line out there, and you were one of the first ones there that day. You weren't nominated for anything. You were just showing up. No, I, what so, did I do? I gave away something. Gave away something, but it was just, you were just glad to be there. You oh know? yeah, so, it's a great night. Are you kidding? It's a fun day. Well, night. We got there late this last year because uh, we got we got started late, and I I was one of the first presenters, so. I was actually supposed to be there even, I was supposed to be there a half hour earlier and I got sidetracked so they had to whisk us through. See, I'd have been scared about missing the thing. I mean, that would have been hard. I was worried about missing the and thing. Wouldn't that be a screw up of epic proportions? That would have been bad. <laughs> Always good to be bad. on time. That's right. <laughs> nice seeing you again. Congratulations on this film and the last one. Thanks. Glad You're hot, like man. It. You're hot. Ah, hanging in there. All right. <laughs>